American actress and singer Pearl Bailey once famously said that the sweetest joy, the wildest woe is love. Would you agree? Have you ever felt torn between love and taking care of yourself? True enough, love is a powerful feeling and the driving force of many of our most cherished connections. But there are also times when it can make us feel deeply hurt or sad. It's like a double-edged sword, bringing joy and causing pain at the same time. There are moments in our lives when we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of love and self-preservation, realizing that detachment is the necessary path to healing. Whether it's the aftermath of a breakup, unreciprocated feelings, or a need for personal growth, the decision to detach from someone you love is a deeply personal and often courageous choice. In these moments, it's important to acknowledge the validity of your emotions and recognize that embarking on this journey is an act of self-love. With that said, let's explore the delicate art of detaching from someone you love and discover the steps that can guide you towards healing and personal growth. The Art of Surrender Embarking on the path of detachment requires mastering the art of surrender. Picture this, you're holding onto a balloon, representing the relationship. The more you resist letting it go, the more it tugs at your grip. Surrendering in this context is acknowledging that the balloon wants to float away. Only by releasing your grip can it soar freely, and only then can you begin to navigate your own path unburdened. Acknowledging the necessity of letting go is the first step on this challenging but liberating journey. Feel and process your emotions. You'll probably feel a lot of conflicting emotions before you finally choose to decide to detach from this person. Most likely, you'll experience feelings of guilt, confusion, and hurt, which will then turn into feelings of grief, anger, sadness, or even relief. We know it's a lot, but take the time to sit with these emotions and give yourself the space to heal. Only when you understand them can you begin to let go, gain insight, and find inner peace again. Keeping them bottled up or running away from them will only hurt you more in the long run. So try journaling, meditating, talking to friends, or seeking professional help instead. Establish boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries is important because by clearly defining what's acceptable and what's not, you reclaim control over your emotional space. This might include limiting contact, unfollowing on social media, or creating physical space. Clearly communicate your boundaries to the other person and stick to them. This helps both parties in adjusting to the new dynamics and will set you on the right path to rebuilding your sense of self and fostering personal growth. Focus on self-care. Ever wondered how to turn the love you poured into a relationship back towards yourself? Self-care is like a reset button, helping you regain strength and perspective. By investing in your well-being, you'll find the strength to detach rebuild, and rediscover the wonderful person you are. So, take time for activities that bring joy, whether it's a favorite hobby, hanging out with friends, or simply enjoying a quiet moment. Redirect the love and energy you invested in the relationship towards yourself and rediscover the joy in life outside of the relationship you are choosing to leave behind. Cultivate a support system. Last, but certainly not least, Surround yourself with friends and family who can understand, empathize, and help ease the emotional burden. Turn to those who can offer an ear or a helping hand. Sharing your thoughts and feelings with those you trust can give you a fresh outlook on things and remind you that you're not alone. In the wise words of Maya Angelou, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. So, Psych2Goers, what are your thoughts on this video? How has the experience of detaching influenced your perspective on love, relationships, and self-love? And what piece of advice or words of encouragement would you give to your past self or others struggling with the same thing? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful and want to watch more, click here to learn about 6 signs you're overly attached to someone, or 13 problems only highly sensitive people understand. Don't forget to support our work by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.